Good morning and welcome. My name is Ben and this is Elevate. And do you know that you can manifest all of your dreams and desires? Do you know that we live in a world that is currently vibrating? Everything we see, everything we feel, everything we touch is simply energy vibrating at a very, very high frequency. And did you know that money, that wealth, that abundance has a vibration, has a frequency that we can tune into? Just like when you tune a radio into your favorite station, you tune your TV in to receive where your favorite movie's playing, so too can you tune in to the frequency and the vibration of abundance of money, of wealth. Folks, if you're looking to attract an overflow of abundance in your life, then today's video is for you. My name's Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's step right into it. Folks, thank you again for joining me today. I'm so glad you've found us. If it's your first time here, why not hit the subscribe button for lots more great content to come and be sure to browse through the back catalogue of videos on this channel. We've got almost 100 videos now up dealing with positive parenting, law of attraction, manifesting, freedom, spirituality, and all sorts of great stuff. But today we're talking about the law of vibration and how it applies to abundance. You see, I've been a student of the Law of Attraction for over a decade now, and I've also done a lot of studies in the counselling field and in the helping professions. It's somewhere where my heart really loves to be. And something I've noticed over the years as I've become more involved in Law of Attraction counselling and coaching and life coaching in general, is the fact that people really struggle with money. It seems to be, in our world and in our society, one of the greatest struggles that people have. And if it's not with the money they have and how to manage the money they have, it's about the money that they don't even have. The money hasn't even come into their world yet and people are stressing about how they're going to spend it, what they're going to do with it, how they're going to get it. Folks, Money is a universal key, but it's important we keep it in perspective and understand here that it is very simply a commodity of trade. As people, as humans, we see and we tend to put a higher value on things that they should, than they should have. And when we do that, we elevate them to a place in our life that is higher than it ought to be, and by so doing, we put it on a pedestal and it creates resistance push ourselves away when we worship something like that that's up on a pedestal. That's why all the faiths and all the religions of the world talk about a loving God who wants to be in relationship with you. Not a high and mighty God who sits on a throne in judgment, but a God who wants to commune and be in relationship with you. It's the same with money. It's the same with anything. If you want to attract love into your life, and you think you've found the one, and you absolutely chase after them too hard, you put them on a pedestal and worship them. You know, folks, you're just going to drive them away. Well, can I say to you that it's exactly the same with our money? And to understand how to attract abundance in our lives, we need to first understand that the universe is governed by unshakable and unchanging foundational truths and laws, like the law of attraction. One of these laws is the law of vibration. The law of vibration simply says that everything is vibrating at high frequency. We live in an ocean of motion. The very screen that you're watching me through now is made up of millions of tiny molecules vibrating at a very high and sustained frequency to take on the form of the screen through which you're seeing me. The sound of my voice travelling into your ears is travelling on waves of sound. It's sound energy. It's vibration. 
Energy is always moving into shape, through shape, and out of shape. It cannot be created or destroyed. Therefore, the law of vibration is very important to understanding how we receive money in abundance into our lives. You see, just like we sit down in front of our computer and we might type in uh, a website address that we want to go see, we might type in Google or YouTube or something like that. As we type in those codes, we know the addresses, we know the www dot, and we know what we have to put in. As we type those codes in, our computer decodes the information that flows to it wirelessly and presents an image on the screen. Well folks, what I'd like you to begin to do is to begin meditating on seeing your body as another form of computer. It's not a laptop, it's not a desktop computer, but it's a body computer. And just like those other computers are capable of decoding Wi-Fi signals and producing an image for us to see and to interact with, so too is the body computer able to wirelessly receive information and present to us images and manifestations of things. So what we need to do is to understand that we can tune our body computer into the frequency and the vibration of money. If you're looking to attract wealth and abundance into your life, here is how you do it. Number one, give that abundance a purpose. Nothing will come to you and manifest into your existence and your reality and your world if it has no purpose. There's no point saying, I'm attracting $50 million, I'm manifesting $50 million. It must have purpose. It must have a mission. So number one, if you want to attract money, wealth, finance, abundance into your world, you must give it a mission. Number two, you must have a healthy respect for it. Manage your money well. Don't leave it just lying around, shoved in your pocket. Keep your money in a wallet. Keep it somewhere safe. Look after it. Manage it. Treat it as, a, as you would a beautiful woman or man or a wonderful partner in life. Treat your money well. And number three, just understand that you can tune into that frequency with your body, with your body computer. You can tune into the vibration of money. Money is a very, very high vibrational thing. So as you begin to give purpose to what you want that money for, as you begin to give meaning to that sum of money that you're looking for, you then begin to invite it into your world with destiny, with hope. And that's how money responds. That's how you tune into its frequency. You give it purpose. You give it meaning. You start to feel how you would feel when that happens. Go and dream your dream home, or the car that you want to buy, or the around the world trip you want to take all of your friends and family on, or the security that it might bring into your world, and the lack that would be completely gone. Whatever that money represents to you, start focusing on that. By focusing on that, what you are doing is you are turning your spiritual tuning dials into the frequency of money. Give it a place in your life, give it a home in your heart, not one where there is resistance and where there is a pedestal, where you feel lack without it. Understand, you are more than enough already. But also understand that we can tune in to the frequency and to the vibration of abundance. Folks, if you will do this, I believe that you will see an explosion of wealth into your life. And not just an explosion of wealth into your life, but an explosion of experiences that wealth can't buy. See, that's the byproduct of the law of attraction, the law of vibration. It's the experiences, it's the relationships that manifestations of money can't buy us. Folks, I hope this video has blessed you today and blessed you to know that you can go out there in power and manifest your dreams and attract those things to you. And you can go out there and tune in to the frequency of money and abundance and wealth. If you've got any questions, feel welcome to reach out any time. But from me, for today's video, that's all I've got. My name's Ben. This has been Elevate. I love each and every one of you. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.